Hello, this is High Templar. Welcome back to Total War Mechanics videos, and today we will be talking about a new implementation of flaming arrows in Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. In the previous installments, like Attila and Rome, the flaming arrows were underwhelming, let's just say that. In this case, however, they change it so that the sky could be burning again for the falls of your long range troops. Because there wasn't really very many situations where you could use the flaming arrows before. And they were being used extensively during the Middle Ages. There is very little downsides, really, to the Flaming Arrows. So, how they look now? Basically, we have smaller base damage. The reload, uh, the base reload time is pretty much the same. There is bonus cavalry versus ten. There is bonus versus cavalry ten, and obviously minus four morale. Minus four morale is not big, but it is something you do win battles mostly with the morale here because when the enemy is running away you are dealing a lot of damage to that enemy so bonus versus cavalry 10 is very very interesting and you can ask how much the base damage 23 is less than the normal damage well that is actually one so reload time is the same as i mentioned before but the base damage is only one less, there is also four armor piercing damage when you are using standard shot. Four armor piercing is like uh, pretty much the standard. And there is uh, a lot of damage being done by those armor piercing. However, bonus versus cavalry, bonus versus large in general in previous installments of Total War, they were also armor piercing, they were also always done to this target so it makes it worth your while to change the arrows to flaming when you are being attacked by cavalry of any sort now I've uh, I don't have a proper partner to do those tests but I did a test for that obviously two tests it's one firing upon the other. The data to be actual fight against the AI. Where you have a general, three very basic units, these basic units. These are just so spearmen worth 100 in campaign and those archers worth 200. That's a single archer unit. And they are starting to hit the enemy. That's too less in the first salvo, which is a lot because mostly it's being it's dealing damage. This is the general, he's better armored obviously. There is still 79 of those guys. Already. This salva already took three of those guys. I try to make the semi viable option here wasn't really that great but I am able to put few shots into my enemies and it's easier to fire up over the shield what it would seem You will see the damage being done by... In general, those guys are heavy cap, Old Norse Riders. So the actual amount of money for those were... That was, that was a lot of money being spent on those heavy riders where this is just the cheapest units you can have. And these are East Angles units, so their spears and their archers are not the greatest. 
and you can see that uh, there was only 17 damage done kills on those guys but there was lots of HP damage done by those guys but not really that amazing so I've made another test this time I only have two units of spears and three units of archers Two units, one units of archers per two units of ca cavalry. And I positioned myself so I could shut off. I didn't know where those guys are coming, so... Already there is a fire. By the way, those do look cool. You can see already already damage to those units. Here we will see two units. Also the trees are taking on fire which is quite amazing. So yeah, those guys already after a single salva getting a lot of damage, a lot of kills. Fifty-five 53 Still no damage was dealt by land units those guys Even now there is no damage 54 53 Surely not to this unit already 50 only one was killed in the melee or two. Those guys. They are melting pretty fast. Under this fire. Somehow those guys got through. Not sure how that worked out. Trying to block. This general is getting smashed. He's not going against the archers, he's going to in the back of my general. My general got some of those arrows, but he's. Yep. My general unit is running away. I'm trying to move my spears. Even the general is dying pretty quickly. Yep. This is extremely cool effect if you ask me. Yep, so we have last spear unit. And those guys are not having the greatest fun. These are old Northern Riders. And Some of them are ranks, I'm not sure, uh, that, that was probably a mistake, but as you can see, a lot of damage being dealt. And that is pretty much the end of the battle. Yep. And that was the end. So this time those simple archers killed 44 of well heavy Melekaf. Those guys are heavy Melekaf. Worth 700 if I remember correctly old North Riders. 44, 43, 32 of those. This is more than half of the unit for each of those guys. And yeah the Spearman did a little bit better but as you can see it is effective tactics and I do do not believe you would have as good as effects and not according to my test as with normal shots or especially that would be even greater against low armor cavalry so as you can see 
we can use flaming shots again. I will be doing more tests, like a proper test. That was very, very quick and dirty because, like I said, I didn't really have a partner to test it. I just thought of this test and did it. I will make some proper damage and uh, kills per salvo and, and by the numbers uh, soon. So I'm not sure but when, but soon. And that's it. Hope you like it. If you did, press like on if you will see more than 100 other mechanics videos on this channel. And some let's plays if you are into that kind of stuff. See you later. Bye.